Folks, this week uh, we will be looking at, uh, again, two chapters, Chapter 9, Technologies that Support Healthcare Information Systems. So again, like I said uh, in my previous videos, is that this is not, uh, I'm not going to walk you through every slide, every uh, bullet point in the slide, but I will just focus on the, the most important concepts that you should take from this chapter. Um, make sure you understand uh, what the different types of technologies are. Um, what is the difference between clinical versus managerial decision support systems? Um, what are the challenges in information technology adoption? Uh, Gartner is a company that studies technology, that studies technology companies, and they have this hype cycle in the sense that they talk about the, the, low, the highs and the lows of a certain technology. And here they've talked about, you will see in chapter um, nine of your textbook is they talk about the hype cycle and this is what the hype cycle is what are the technologies that will be this is the time axis this is the 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 technology um and, and it talks about the you know the 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 lows and the highs of certain technology and how with time uh database models don't focus much on that just understand that you know databases uh have uh, allow you to store data uh, to to query data or to um, look for data um, so this is basically a lot of concepts about databases state of dictionary um, like I said understand the different in different types of healthcare information systems what are clinical data repositories what is data mining uh, what sort of networks types of networks that uh, hospitals or, or healthcare companies use what is a local area versus a wide area network? Um, um, so, um, concepts related to data trans transmission, what is bandwidth, baseband, broadband? Uh, a little bit about the TCP IP uh, layers, not very important though. Um, difference between file server, client server, and cloud computing. A lot of uh, information is moving to the cloud nowadays. You must have heard about that. So know a little bit about that, cloud computing, World Wide Web, of course, you guys are familiar with the components of URL. Um, E-commerce technologies, the difference, like I said initially, the difference between clinical and managerial different decision support systems. Um, then next chapter is chapter 17, Assessing and Achieving Value in Healthcare Information Systems, or HCIS. Um, so, what 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 is I? How do we provide IT value? I mean, information technology within a hospital, within a clinic, uh, within a pharmacy, within a payer system. How does it add value? And this is the chapter talks about that. What is value diversity? Analysis of value types. Um, and how do they talk about? How do you basically invest in IT to deliver best returns? So with that said, there are three to four articles that relate to this topic here, healthcare information systems this week. And one of the classic articles, this is why the famous Michael Porter talks about value in healthcare. Uh, although this is published in the New England Journal of Medicine in 2010, which is six year, which is far back, I understand that. But this is a classic article in which Michael Porter basically describes the value uh, what is value in healthcare and if you read about this this is this gives you a sense of uh, you know what we really mean by value uh, of technology in healthcare what what does value actually mean when it, when we talk in the healthcare context then there's another article on uh, healthcare information technology uh, based on evidence so there's a lot of hue and cry about people saying hey you are investing so many million dollars on technology but what is the evidence that this technology really works and this, this article sort of touches on that and you know um, if you are the CIO or the CEO of the company how would you basically um, you know justify value of your technology to your stakeholders to your board and all those those kind of people and the meaningful use concept uh, you will come across this the whole two words meaningful use is when when this whole evolution of the revolution of technology started back in 
2010, 2009, when, the, when you know when the Democrats uh, came to power, um, the, the federal government, the healthcare department of health, uh, uh, the center for the CDC Center for Disease and Control, CMS Center for Medicare and Medicaid Services, and all the federal governing bodies that pertains to healthcare in the United States talked about okay how meaningful is the use of technology so they they they, they said okay there are various stages in the meaningful use stage one is you you basically in, implement it and see how it works stage two is further you know see if it's really making a difference in patient outcomes patient experience patient safety patient care so, um, you know, that, that's what this article talks about, promise and potential of patient-facing technologies to enable meaningful use, okay? The term meaningful use, if you Google it, you will see what, what it entails. I mean, there are various stages to meaningful use and, and, and you know, and, we, uh, and uh, it is important to understand the whole idea of meaningful use. And this chapter sort of talks about that. Okay, so this week, um, this is what it pertains to. Um, just pick up on the technologies that are current that have been used uh, that are being used right now. You know, for example, um, there's a lot of talk about telehealth. There's talk about, well, of course, electronic medical health records. There's talk about, you know, wearable devices. Those sort of things. Okay. So with that said, that's basically the gist of this week. Um,